I'm gonna show you how to analyze response surface in Minitab. So then uh, if you have seen this example before, temperature and humidity and how that affect our comfort. So I have created this design um, with two um, 2K, two square design with added four axial points and then five uh, or six, five center points. And then I have collected this data. Now I'm going to show you how to analyze this in Minitab. So let's go ahead and copy this data in Minitab. So this is the copied data in Minitab. Now when you go to stat, uh, analysis of very, uh, DOE, design of experiment, response surface, it will ask you to create a design. You can't analyze anything in Minitab if you don't create the design. So first you have to create the design. So go to, uh, when you click analyze response surface, it will kind of say, well, I cannot analyze it. There is no design in there. So hit click yes. So this will basically um, telling Minitab, these are my variables, use them and analyze and give me the results. So continuous factor, temperature and humidity. And then you got to check this low high stuff. So because there was a center point added and the actual points have added. So the low and high kind of changed. Previously, my low level temperature was, I think it was 60 and then high level was 80. I, that is my, yes, here it is. And then humidity was 20 and 60. And then the actual point added this humidity level and temperature level went down uh from the low level and also went high too so their low high is a little bit different just hit okay uh, design you can just leave everything as it is hit okay now it is asking for the response so comfort was the response variable now we have to see terms is basically running full model a a a square b square and the interaction of them so that's okay full quadratic hit okay options let's see what's in there just leave everything as it is there is no stepwise we don't want any graphs results um, just hit okay storage not really interested in diagnosing the residual for this small experiment just leave everything else hit okay then it will analyze the um, the response surface for us so as you can see here this is the analysis of variance table um, temperature quadratic effect was significant humidity was not and then interaction was not also significant like that so and then there was this lack of feed what that indicates is um, is that model suffers from lack of fit meaning that um, is there any other higher order term if you would include those in the model would that feed the model better than this in this case it says yes so there could be more uh, maybe cubic relationship or power power to the four four relationship something something like that exist so lack of, lack of fit basically says is there any other term are you missing from the model if you if you see the p-value low meaning that is yes there is a lack of fit meaning that there is a missing term we don't know it but in this case we're just looking to see if there are any quadratic effect on that or not now r square value is this model explained kind of quite well almost 90 percent and then some this regression coefficient stuff you know all that now let's go ahead and show you what i wanted to show you is the response surface the reason we're doing all this mess so response surface if we we want to see some kind of surface if we click on the control plot it will give us the control plot like that so you can actually see what is the most comfortable reasons this is the most comfortable reason inside and as you go away the comfort level decreases this is a nice way of looking at it the the primary reason that we do response surface we want to see not just one number 70 percent humidity or 70 70 degree Fahrenheit is the most comfortable temperature instead we want to see a range of reason where temperature would be you know would be more comfortable in, in this case here we can see uh, almost starting from 64 to all the way 75 looks really uh, nice so we could set the room temperature between 65 to 75 and there will be no significant change in comfort level so that's all these things 
thing says instead of just one number like 70 previously what we have uh, found is only one number 70 percent is 70 degree fahrenheit is significantly better than the other temperature in this case in response surface we see a little bit more than what we need so you could also uh, find the most optimum too so if you go to design of experiment let's see if there is any optimization response optimizer so if you hit on that and then comfort maximize i want to maximize comfort then let's see what's under option i don't need anything there graphs optimization plot that's good v models is going to include the full quadratic model that's fine storage i'm not worried about this uh, um, adequacy now so just hit ok so this is the uh, optimum point as you can see for the temperature the optimum point kind of shown 69.5 degree and then uh, the optimum humidity is shown in this case 52 point something so uh, these are the two optimum uh, points now we could also create a response surface however something happened to my mini tab it's not working so when you click on this uh, response plot and then hit ok you should see a plot however i'm not seeing that however i have created that in sas so i'm going to show you that so if that mini tab function would run it would look like this it's just my mini tab though i tested in other in our lab which is working just fine but if you would create a response surface out of the same data i have done this in uh, sas which is a statistical analysis system um, so it, you're gonna look something like this so instead of just one single number temperature or humidity we can see a range of areas where it can be um, you know optimum or uh, it can be okay there will be no statistical significance of it so let's see if we are missing anything in mini tab so stat uh, doe response surface i kind of so we can also plot these predicted plots and see you know what's the so relationship just hit okay it's going to create the interaction also the main plot something happened to this thing sorry about that okay something happened to my plotting function anyway when you create that you see interaction plot you have seen interaction plot before so or probably so many things running in my computer now things are slow so predictor response we already uh, know how to create that from the uh, regression analysis yeah that's it i think about this um, response surface analysis using mini tab